we're going to introduce something. One of the biggest developments in QSIS for a while. This is AI-driven full-body presenter tracking via Seer Vision. Presenter tracking enabled. All right, so first thing you're going to notice is that we're zooming in and getting us a better crop. My, kind of like what we just saw with the auto framing on Patrick. It's zoomed in on me. It's giving me, uh, based on our preferences, a tighter image, which is great. But this is not just uh, framing. This is full presenter tracking. If I move around the room, you can see that that camera is following me. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. This is the image from the Sear Vision server. Everything that's in this shot is something it's trying to analyze. Now, you'll notice this is a wide shot, even though the presenter shot over there is still tight. That's why we have two cameras in the back. One camera is operating as a conductor mode to take a look at this. The other one is receiving the commands to zoom in and move around. All the green boxes in here are things that Sear Vision is fairly certain is a human. Uh, the orange box is something it's not quite sure is a human. I'm so sorry, we're not sure you're a human. You didn't quite make it. What a weird way to learn that you might be a robot. I'm just doing it. <laughs> Uh, it looks like I am 92% likely to be a human. That's better than my ex-wife would have given me, so I'll take it. Uh, up here, I am in this green presenter area that you can see on that page right up there. So I know that I'm the presenter because I'm in the area we've designated as the presenter zone. Whenever I move around, it's going to keep following me. doesn't matter if someone else stands up, it's still going to follow me. With this information, we can do more things. You can see that purple area up there as well. That can be a trigger zone. If I move to the purple area, like this whiteboard over here, we can make various things happen. We know that while I'm here, I'm gonna be working on a whiteboard. That means the whiteboard is the important thing. So take a look at what we're sending to the far end. We've swapped the camera that's in the back of the room because that camera is permanently dedicated to this focused space in the environment. Because if you've watched me already, you know that I do this a lot. I sway while I talk, while I stand. I don't want the camera to kind of follow me as I'm doing this. I want the camera to focus on the whiteboard so the far end can actually read what I'm doing, right? When I leave this area, the light will dim so it's no longer a focus area. We go back to the presenter cam and it's on me again. And a reminder, this is not just facial tracking. This is full body tracking. You can see 18 points of, of telemetry data on my skeleton. If you can't see my face, that's fine. If I'm wearing a mask, if I move around, it's going to continue to track me the entire time. Now, if you're wondering, is this an either or scenario? Do I have to use Seer Vision or ACPR? The answer is, of course, you can use both. So when I start tracking, it cuts back to me. And when I'm done, right back to Nate.